Welcome back. This is the second in a series of tutorials on Inspiration 8. And in this tutorial we're going to look at reorganizing and recoloring uh, our idea bubbles. So we've already started here a little bit. We've got a grouping for meat and meat alternatives over on this side. If we want we can move that by highlighting those three items by dragging around them. And another way we can do that is to click on one item and shift click on subsequent items. So for example, let's say that I dragged around something like this and then I got blueberries and hot dogs in the picture. Well, hot dogs, it's okay if I move that, but I don't need blueberries, so I'm going to shift click on that. That will deselect that. And I'm going to move these over to the side. Then I'm going to bring other items that belong in this grouping over here as well. Get a little cheese over here, maybe some dried beans. And finally let's get the pork chops over here. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to establish connections from these sub items to this category. So to do that, let's just take hot dogs as an example. We're going to click on the connector. That highlights our endpoints of the connector so we can grab this base and attach it to meet alternatives. Once again, if we don't like where the arrow is positioned because it's hidden in behind, there's a couple things we can do. First of all, we can go to link and we can take this checkbox off draw links under symbols. That will help. The other thing we can do is grab this diamond and move it to a more appropriate location. So we're going to reorganize these. We're going to again walk you through this, click on the connector, grab the base of the connector, attach it to meet and meet alternatives. And if necessary move the arrow and to a more appropriate location. And we're going to continue to do that for each of these items so that they become sub items of meat and meat alternatives. Click on the connector, grab the base. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange these visually so that you can see all the connectors and you can see the grouping. So we've got a nice little arrangement going there. Now, it may be that we want to change the appearance of those so that we establish that those things all belong together. So far we've done that in two ways. We've done it with physical proximity. We've made sure they're all in the same area. And we've done it with the connectors, showing them all branching off of meat and alternatives. But we could also create a visual connection by highlighting those and changing the fill color. Let's go with something meaty, like red. Now, in this case we can still read the labels, but they're not perhaps as visible as we would like them, so we can also change the text color for that dark red by coming down here and clicking on this A with the bar be below it. Right now the black bar indicates that the that the text color is black. We can change that to white. And that might show up a little better. If we don't think that that's really doing the trick, then we could up the size of the text, we could change the font and so on, just like we can in any other application. So now that's a little more visible. We're going to take this, we've lost a little bit of our text here, drag that out so that we can see it. So that's a way we can reorganize and group items that belong together. Okay, welcome back. I paused the video there for a moment just so that I could create a similar grouping for vegetables and fruits without necessarily taking up your time. Because I want to show a couple of other concepts. So. One of them is going to be how to use defaults again. We did that in the first lesson, but 
Let's just say that the fruit and vegetables we wanted to create also in a different color. There's more than one way to do that. We could pick a color, uh, let's pick a raspberry color like that. And we could too pick a different shape if we chose to. And we could pick a different font and so on. But that's enough right now. We're going to come down here and we're going to go to set default again. That's going to set our default to those rounded rectangles, black text on a magenta background. So now, if we highlighted these items, and I think I've got them all there, if I missed one I would shift click on it, or if I had inadvertently grabbed oatmeal I would shift click on it to deselect that. Now we can come down to our defaults button and we can apply that default to all those. Notice again it's showing us what default we're going to apply. So we can do that like so. So that's another way of creating that kind of mass change. Now when I went to select here, this time I did get rice and oatmeal. It's just going to show you that we can rearrange that whole grouping by selecting them all and dragging them around. Now, just to go over a few things, now that we've set that default, when we go to create a new bubble, it creates it in that combination. Remember too, if we ever lose a link, we can recreate the link either by grabbing this and dragging it up, or by selecting the source where we want the arrow to come from and clicking on link and just dropping that arrow on the target. Another thing when we're creating these groupings, it's really important for something later on that all the arrows come from the central idea outwards and from the secondary ideas to the tertiary or the third level ideas. So we've got an arrow coming from Canada's food guide to vegetables and fruits and from there out to the things that belong in that group. That will be important later on when we go to outlining. But for the time being, we're going to leave this and we're going to pause until our next tutorial.